<laughs> and time. Jesus Christ is king. And I thank him for allowing this debate to take place tonight. Is it reasonable to believe that God exists? Yes. Yes, it is. I'm going to argue tonight that not only is it reasonable to believe that God exists, but that denying belief in God reduces one's worldview to absurdity. Well, why is it reasonable to believe that God exists? Quite simply, because it's true that he exists. Here's my argument. Premise one, it's reasonable to believe that which is true. Premise two, it's true that God exists. Conclusion, therefore, it's reasonable to believe that God exists. Now, in order for an argument to be sound, it must not only be valid in form, but the premises must be true. Now, I highly doubt that Matt is going to argue against the validity of the form of the argument or the truth of the first premise. It's reasonable to believe that which is true. I mean, that's the very definition of reason. The intellectual ability to apprehend the truth. See, I suspect that the disagreement is going to come from the second premise. Matt is going to want me to show that it's true that God exists. I mean, I've watched a lot of video with Matt recently, and truth is very important to him. I care about what's actually true. My, my only concern is, uh, or my primary concern, is whether or not a belief's true. I, I actually give a shit about whether or not something's true. Truth is the thing that I value most. Matt values truth so much that he even put on a t-shirt. He wants to believe as many true things and as few false things as possible. Well, so do I. And guess what? I say it's true that God exists. Therefore, it is true that God exists. My argument is sound, and the debate is over. How does that work for you, Matt? Saying something doesn't make it true. No. Oh. Saying something doesn't make it true. Well, how's this? It's true for me that God exists. Therefore, it's true that God exists. I'm talking about the, the idea that something could be true because it's true for you. That's not, that's, that's the thing that I'm actually rejecting. Hmm. Just because it's true for me doesn't mean it's true. Oh well. I strongly feel it's true that God exists, therefore God exists. Just because you feel it strongly doesn't mean that it's true. Hmm. Not feelings either. Well, lots of people believe that God exists, and they're very sincere, and it's really looked down upon to not believe that God exists. So that must make it true. Right? The truth is not impacted in any way by the number of people that believe it, that believe the, the claim, or the sincerity of their belief, or how much it's looked down upon. Oh, man. Not because I said it. Not because it's true for me. Not because I feel it. Not because others believe it. Not because the belief is sincere, or because its denial is frowned upon. Come on. Help me out here, Matt. When we're talking about truth and the fact that truth has to exist independent of our knowledge of it, yes, that's true. Oh, okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Truth exists independent of our knowledge of it. Perhaps at this point, a definition of truth would be in order. How does Matt define truth? Truth is that which comports with reality. Truth is that which comports with reality. Great. Wait a minute. Whose view of reality? In my view of reality, God exists. And I really, really believe that my view of reality is the right view. Does that make it true? You can yeah. believe that that you can believe that naked pixies whisper in your ear and clean out your sink at night if you want to. <laughs> but it has no bearing at all on the objective reality that we actually have to deal with. Oh, okay, I get it. Objective reality. What's really real, not just because I believe it, truth must be that which corresponds to objective reality. Well, that makes sense, actually. Just because somebody high on drugs believes that there's snakes on the bed doesn't mean that there's actually snakes on the bed. In order to know if something's true, our internal belief must, ma must match what's actually true, what's actually real. I want my internal model of reality to match the actual reality I live in as best as possible. Of course he does. It has to match actual, objective, ultimate reality to be true. Matt cares about truth, so he must care about ultimate reality. Right? I don't care whether this is the ultimate reality. 
Wait, what? Matt doesn't care if this is the ultimate reality? Surely that was a slip of the tongue. Surely Matt must care a little bit about what's ultimately real. Possibilities and reality. Uh, I don't care. I, I, sorry, I just really, really, really don't care. He really, really, really doesn't care. Now, folks, that's a problem. Truth is that which is ultimately real, and Matt doesn't care what's ultimately real. Why is that? Why doesn't Matt care what's ultimately real? My position is that, yes, we cannot distinguish whether or not... I can't distinguish whether the reality I experience is an ultimate reality. I could be in a matrix or a brain of that or pick any thought experiment you want. Matt doesn't care what's ultimately real because he can't know what's ultimately real. You heard it. He could be a brain in a vat. According to Matt's worldview, he can only know that which is in his own brain. See, I'd even argue that point. But surely, that would be absurd. I mean, isn't that solipsism? Solipsism. A theory and philosophy that your own existence is the only thing that is real or that can be known. Well, that's nuts, right? I mean, anybody who claims to be a solipsist deserves to be mocked, right? And because I'm a solipsist, because I'm uncertain, you're, you're a, a solipsist? solipsist? I'm trapped like most people. <laughs> <laughs> mocked, mocked, and hung up on. Good job, Matt. I mean, that's crazy. I mean, if that were the case, not only could you not know ultimate reality, you'd have no basis for trusting the reality that you think you're experiencing. I mean, you might think that you're in a room with blue walls, when you're a brain in a vat in a room with orange walls. You see, I have watched a lot of Matt's videos, and he hangs up on a lot of people. Now why, why would Matt hang up on the solipsist? Why would he hang up on the solipsist, I wonder. We, can't, we cannot ever solve the problem of hard solipsism, pretending that I'm claiming to be able to defeat hard solipsism. There's, I, I have no solution to that. Matt has no solution for solipsism. In fact, according to Matt's worldview, he must be a solipsist. But rather than admit it, he mocks somebody claiming solipsism. Of course, Matt would never admit to being a solipsist. Or would he? Obviously, I'm not a solipsist. You're not a solipsist. But in some possible world, actually, it kind of actually is. Did you catch that? It's kind of soft. I, I enhanced the audio for you. Obviously, I'm not a solipsist, you're not a solipsist, but in some possible world, uh, actually, kind of there actually is Actually, he kind of is a solipsist. Of course he is. Matt can't know anything outside his own brain. And I have to show that it's true that God exists. He can't know anything outside his own brain, and he's going to argue that it's unreasonable to believe in God? My friends, this debate isn't over. It never started. Matt's worldview isn't down for the count. It's dead. It just doesn't have the courtesy to lie down. You see, you need to be able to know what's ultimately real to know what's true. I submit that you can't know what's ultimately real without revelation from God. How do I know what's real? The same way all of you do. Revelation from the God that all of you know exists. Christians profess that truth. Profess atheist suppression. You see, becoming a Christian is not a matter of going from unbelief to belief. It's a matter of going from suppressing the truth to professing it. No one becomes a Christian and says, well, what do you know? There is a God. You see, God doesn't send people to hell for denying what they don't know, but for their sin against the God they do know. Is it reasonable to believe that God exists? Yes. Yes, it is. Why? Because it's true that God exists. And denial of that claim reduces one's worldview to absurdity. Matt says that truth is that which comports with reality. He admits he can't know what's ultimately real. Therefore, according to his worldview, he can't know anything to be true and has zero basis for challenging my claim that it's reasonable to believe that God exists. Thank you.